and hooray to Google, right? For adding new feature, this wonderful new feature that everybody has been waiting for. That is breakout room in Google Meet. Right now, I'll show you step by step in how to create direct breakout room from the audience that are already in your Google Meet. Okay, so stay right in and remember to click subscribe at the bottom and or click this sentence to subscribe right for future videos. Right, so now I will show you step by step. Let's start right in. The first step is to get into Google Meet, all right, and start a meeting. Okay, so to, to start a meeting, what you can do is to go into meetgoogle.com, all right, and then click on start a meeting, all right. Jimmy, you can call it any name you want, demo, call room, okay, and click continue. A new Google Meet meeting will be started. Once you have clicked join and enter your Google Meet, all right, next thing is to send the Google Meet link to your participants or your audiences. Okay, so where you can get the uh, Google Meet link will be here. You see the arrow on this left bottom corner, click on it. Okay, this is the link, join info. Okay, you just have to highlight this thing, control and copy. Once copy the link, you can send it to your participants, audience, or any other students, right? To join in the link immediately. So I'll demonstrate one time. Okay. So if they can once they get the link, they just paste it onto the address panel, and then they just have to click join. As I've demonstrated in the previous video, which you can actually click this link on top, all right, to watch um, the new feature about waiting room, all right. Once a student or a participant is uh, being given a link which is not sent and invite directly right, or added into the list, the participant will be placed on waiting room like that. Okay, so as a host, you need to admit that. Once you can admit, right, in the student's view, before you click admit, there will be in the uh, waiting instruction okay once they are admitted by the host by you in this case they will be shown to be in the meet itself and on the host panel all right you will see that the student has joined okay so let's also um, allow other participants to join Another participant joining, that means the student will be immediately, uh, immediately admitted into the Google Meet as well. Okay, so first, what we'll do is that we, uh, in this um, format, you will see right, if you are actually an uh, institute account, okay, a school account corporate account, you will be seeing this new icon here, all right? So this icon will have several new features, including the breakout room, all right? So here is where the background room is. It's simple to use. Just click on it. And they will ask you for how many rooms okay what you want to have right so i can have as many as one all right but because uh i only have um four participants now okay so i'll just have two breakout rooms okay so i will indicate two here okay so they have divided for you okay for start randomly into two groups okay. all right so now the Google Meet has uh, automatically divided your audiences into two and one. All right, yourself being in the main call. Okay, you can subsequently join the breakout rooms as well. Okay, now right, if you don't want this order, you can easily just click and drag the student 
over the other group. Cool. And you can also change the title of the breakout rooms by clicking on the title box here. Okay. Like group one. Okay. Once you're ready, you're satisfied with all, you can open groups. You will see on top here, breakout rooms are in session. That means they are ready. Okay. So let's take a look at how the students will see. In their, what will the students be seeing on their screen? Okay, so the students will be asked to join the particular group we have assigned them. They will join. So in their meet, they will see themselves in the group itself. And you'll be shown here, they are in group 2 breakout room. And they can return to the main call anytime. Okay, similarly for the rest of the students, they will need to click join. And let's say I have the third student click join. And they will be in their own groups. So now, this icon is actually another student and this person, this student is L. Alright, so he is looking at his own group mate. Alright, so while I have one group that has nobody, so he is actually looking at himself. So what I can do is I can join the other group. Alright, so let's say group one. I want to go in and see how they are doing. Alright, so I'll just join. So that you can be there to monitor them. So now you will see yourself as a host inside group 1. You can also join group 2 and, and monitor them. I hope this will be really useful for you. Okay, if you want to be notified of future videos, please make sure to subscribe at the bottom. Okay, in the description or to click on this round button here and I'll look forward to seeing you again. Take care. Bye.